First at noon, tragedy on the highway. A two-year-old girl is dead and her five-year-old sister is on life support after a horrific crash on I-95. The crash shut down parts of the highway for hours. Investigators say neither of the children were in their car seat and it's unclear if they even had seatbelts on. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live outside the hospital in Fort Lauderdale where that five-year-old is fighting for her life. Joan? Maribel, what a devastating time for the family of these two little girls. Their mother is with the, her one daughter who did survive but is in very critical condition at this point. Florida Highway Patrol is still interviewing witnesses to find out exactly what happened. I, I see everybody calling me, but I can't answer everybody. So I'm just asking you guys to keep us in your prayers, okay? Both of my kids, both of my kids are gone. The two baby them gone. Annette Bennett is a mother in agony over what happened to her two little girls, two-year-old Akita Bennett and five-year-old Kiana Bennett. The two-year-old is gone. Her sister is on life support. On Sunday, Florida Highway Patrol said the two girls were in a car driven by a woman named Robbie Rashida. Her car collided with a 26-year-old driver from Illinois on 95 north of Sample Road in Deerfield Beach on Sunday. Florida Highway Patrol said neither girl was in a car seat. Not the Their mother posting this video on Facebook of the two girls two days before the accident. A GoFundMe page has been set up to pay for expenses. Many people responding to that GoFundMe page. The mother has been writing messages. Uh, if you can help, you can find out more about this GoFundMe page on our webpage, CBS Miami. Dot com. Meantime, Florida Highway Patrol, as we said, still investigating this crash. They have not issued a report on who may have been at fault. If anybody is facing charges, we'll keep you posted as Florida Highway Patrol puts out information. At Broward Health Medical Center in Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.